Hello, welcome back to the TGAP commentary. Um, today we're doing Anthony Palumbo again. Now, um, I've already done this guy, of course, but um, I don't know. I just felt like doing him, you know. I just felt like doing him. Um, it just is one of those days, you know. It's hot. Currently, have one of those like icy pop thingies. I don't know what the hell they're called, but um, yeah, it's hot. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna look at Anthony Palumbo again. Um, he is a very noticeable uh, or notable predator, right? They, he's one of people's favorites. I know there are people out, out there that really like him, right? He's one of the, I guess, the Hall of Fame <laughs> predators for, for um, you know, for, for the show. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get right into this. If you like to catch a predator, right, check out the channel. Uh, I have many videos. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. All the men who come to our undercover house are expecting to meet a young girl. Except this next <laughs> man. He's been chatting online with a decoy. Ah, uh, man, perfect. I already paused it, but... Listen, <laughs> it is very interesting how Anthony Palumbo legit looks like he's in a horror movie, right? He's like in the middle of the road, right? No one is around, middle of the night again, right? And Christ, like it's just one dude holding grocery bags, right? It's just, a, it's a scene to see, right? Like, um, wow. <laughs> He's been wow. chatting online with a decoy posing as a boy. A right boy. Here. He's 46 he's year old though. Anthony Palumbo, and he's brought a gift. We've hired an 18 year old actor to play the part of the young team. Actor, hey. <laughs> Come on in. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wasn't thinking about that, but uh, I'll say it later though. <laughs> okay, let's, let's bring it back actually. I'm being a bit distracting right now. 46 year old 46 Anthony Palumbo, and he's brought a gift. We've hired an 18 year old actor to play the part of the young teen. Hey, mm -hmm. <laughs> come on in. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you make you a good direction. You give good direction, in man. Ba banger line from Palumbo, man. I'll, I'll, every time I get given good direction, that's what I'll say. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit hot, okay? I'm a bit. Um, Anxious, I guess, if that's a good way to put it. But anyway, <laughs> not anymore. Actually, never mind. Forget that. What? What, what the hell? Did I press. <laughs> okay. Anyway, forget that. You know, the people that I like, they don't trip on carpets, man. I can't. I can't believe this. Why would he do this, man? He can't do this. Online in an AOL oh, gay yeah. chat room, calling himself "Hi, buddy, what's up?" He tells the decoy, <laughs> who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy, boy, that he's horny. Oh, and the 46-year-old says, I want to be top. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to do it raw? 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 Yes. What's, What's that? that? <laughs> no rubber. I was... uh, man, this is all going really quickly, you know. I'm here sipping on this little, you know, cold thingy, right? But, okay, let me relax. I should just down this real quick. I'll be back. Give me, uh, give me one second. All right. <laughs> it's, it's gone, right? It's gone. Now on to the water, right? Only great value, though. You know, I can't. I'm not. I'm not high brand. You know, we're broke out here. We'll make out the hood, though, right? We just reached 2,000 subscribers, right? Thank you, everyone who subscribed. Thank you, man. It's been amazing. The live stream is still coming. I'll put on details some other time. <laughs> he tells the deep and in an AOL. This is so butchered, man. I'm sorry. Online in an AOL gay chat room calling He's himself, not gay, though. Hi, buddy, what's up? <laughs> just he saying. tells the decoy, who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy, that he's horny. I am horny. Then the 46-year-old says, I want to be top. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to do it raw? Raw? Yes. What's, what's that? that? No, no rubber. God, I was banger, man. Left, I now he's game, here, uh, beer in I hand, stopped. asking the decoy several times to put it in the refrigerator. In the fridge. <laughs> you can put that in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put it in a little bit. Right. I'll relax. I'm just a little nervous. I'm nervous well. too. That's right. <laughs> I'm sweating. Dude, why is it that now I record I sweat so much? But anyway, on to the video, right? Um, Palumbo, he was in a gay chat room. <laughs> You know, he go. I keep saying he's not gay because, spoiler alert, right, he denies being attracted to other men, right? When Chris Hansen comes out, he's like, oh, well, I'm not gay or anything. I'm just saying, right? I would never do this, right? <laughs> but he's in there and he texted, you know, 14-year-old boy. He said all that stuff, right? He even asked if he wanted to be top. Or, no, he wants to be top. 
And uh, I don't know what that means, right? I'm an innocent boy, right? I, I don't know what any of that means, man. <laughs> What's that? You know, that's what I should say. My excuse to come here, he I went to Atlantic City. I just, I don't know. What, what grown ass man. Okay, grown, grown ass. I'm back, by the way. Grown ass man making up excuses, man. Just, like, I know he said that to his other brother or whatever, but no. I believe he just said that to his mom, but I'm not, you know, his mother or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's, it's making up like, oh, I went to Atlantic City, man. I do not care, you know. You're here, though. <laughs> The yeah. I don't Why? know. Just chill out. Chill out, man. That's it. All right. We'll see That's what happens. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just nervous. Yet, but you know. That's all right. I would, you could put that in the refrigerator anytime. Okay, I don't get drunk with that. <laughs> what a stupid ass remark, man. It is so funny how the the decoy is like very like he's he's kind of you know try trying to bait the the predator to say something next, right? Which is great, right? It's great. It's fantastic, right? That he's trying to bait the predator to say some some stuff like, "Oh, that's it. You know, we're just gonna watch football, right? What, like, there is, we need you to say more for the camera, uh, Anthony Plummer, right? We need you to say more." But anyway, um, yeah, he says, "Don't get drunk with that." Like, what a more, <laughs> uh, yeah, incriminating statement you could make, right? Oh, don't get drunk with that, man. I brought that only for you, man. <laughs> I don't know if he makes up an excuse for the actual, the beer. Actually, I don't know. I'm but... just nervous. Yep, but, you just know. nervous. Right. I'm yeah, nervous. I would, you could put that in the refrigerator. Right? Right, I don't, mean, don't okay. get drunk with that. I won't. Ron Knight. Oh my God, Ron Knight, you bastard! I see your ass, man. That's all right. I would. Sorry, if I scared you. Put that in the refrigerator. I need to get a picture. Right, Ron, don't get okay. drunk with that. I won't. <laughs> Banger, man. Look at Ronnie. He's so ready, too. He's like, oh, man. If Anthony Poe moves a finger, I'm jumping in there, man. I'm telling you, man. Ron Knight, the best bodyguard to have ever, you know, scraped this damn earth, man. Like, you know, when I make it out the hood, <laughs> I want to hire Ron Knight as my bodyguard, man. Screw all the, you know, gigantic men who they, they just happen to be, you know, in the world, right? For some reason, right? I want Ron Knight, man. He's able to best all those other people. <laughs> Without a doubt in my mind, you know, I just want Ron Knight, man, man, man. If you know Ron Knight, actually, no, never mind. Ron Knight, if you're watching this, hit me up, man. I'm, I'm on Instagram, man. Hit me up, man. So why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlantic City? I'll see my brother. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Don't this video sucks ass. I won't. <laughs> I won't. So why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlantic City? I'll see my brother. Yeah. yeah, but who did you have to give that to as a cover story? No, and my brother is home, my other brother. Right. And I said, I gotta go to Atlantic City. And, but instead, you came here. <laughs> I stopped by. I stopped by, man. So you like to gamble? Yeah, I love gamble. to gamble. You took a <laughs> man, shut up, man. I stopped Chris Hansen before he could drop out this little zinger, man. I don't care. Listen, Chris Hansen, right? You suck ass, man. I'll buy to go there. So you like to gamble? Gamble. Yeah, I love to gamble. You took a little bit of a gamble coming in here tonight. No, I just stopped by. But you said you were nervous. When you nervous. Came in. Why were you so yeah, nervous? because I was going to Atlantic City and it was dark and I'm not usually a drive at dark at you nighttime. Should, so the nighttime makes. Oh uh, man, don't worry at the Palumbo. You know, I said this in the very first one. I right? mean, either man, I, I, it makes me nervous, right? I driving at night, man. Oh, you just never know, man. What if I get jumped, man? Who knows? You know, the zombies, man. The vampires. Who knows, man? You know, they can come out in the middle of the night, man. All the she ghosts, you know. Yeah, driving. I'm not a, I'm not a driver at night either, city, don't worry. And it was dark, and I'm not usually a driver at dark at night should, time. So the nighttime makes you nervous. Makes you nervous. Yeah, driving. I'm not a driver at and, night. And what possible. about visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? <laughs> Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to just say hi. It was say hi idea. and stuff. And drop off a package. Yeah. Say hi and stuff. <laughs> Who said that? She said hi and stuff. Who said that? I only remember Chris Hansen saying the dumb statement. She said hi and stuff. Oh, oh, this is, uh, what's his name? Damn, Kevin Westerbeck. Man, perfect, man. What a yeah. beggar. I, you know, she said hi and stuff. She said hi and stuff. Perfect, man. Go watch that video if you want to. <laughs> yeah. And drop off a pack. A pack. Yeah, yeah, I had beer. Have you been drinking beer? beer? No, not at all. You can smell my breath. Not, not at all. all. It's okay. I don't need to do that. He tells me. What if? What if he did though? What if? What if Chris Hansen actually smelt his breath? Right? It just smells like pure alcohol, like the most potent of alcohol. Right? It just smells deadly in there. You know? Other than him, probably not. You know, being a hygienic guy, right? He he smells like alcohol off the ass. But um, yeah, that would be that'd be hilarious. Several times he thought the boy was 18, Eight. but in the chat log, the decoy tells him two different times that he's 14. Jesus, How old are you? 39. 39. 39. 
You said you were 35 online. 35. 35. 39. 39. We find out later he's actually 46. He says he's unemployed. Man, oh, man. You, 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 can't, you can't blame him, man. Sometimes I forget how old I am. I think, how old am I? 35? 30, 22, right? What? How old am I? I don't know, man. Boyd <laughs> and spends his time caring for his ailing mother. Then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual his chat. Graphic sexual you asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Did I ask them it? Oh, I can't remember, man. How old am I again? Who is my who? What am I? Who am I? You know. What a dumbass! Then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual chat. You asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? Did I ask? I don't remember. Are you top or bottom? You're top or I'm bottom. I'm horny. You say. Oh, buddy. Oh, man, oh, man. You, you know, I can explain away the top and bottom, man. You know, there are some people who are, you know, they're top dogs or they're, you know, bottom dog, man. You know, it, it, he was basically asking, right, Is it, are you, you know, you know, are you gangster enough, you know? I don't, I don't really mess with people that are cool, man. You know, that's me. That, I also ask that, you know, are you top or bottom? And uh, you can find out. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna plug my Instagram anymore. I was man. just fooling around. Well, yeah. if you're just fooling around, then why were you so concerned about so knowing nervous. whether or not he was a cop? Just joking. Just joking. Mm -hmm. Banger, man. So what made you decide to come over here and... Man, uh... I'm sorry for pausing it so much, but like, yo. <laughs> lots happening. He, oh, just joking, man. Oh, man, you know, I always joke about committing crimes too, man. You know, it's like yelling, you know, fire in, in a movie theater, man. I was just joking, man. Relax, man. Relax. <laughs> Meet a teenage boy I'm after... not funny. Uh, this sexually explicit conversation. What are you doing? I thought it was uh, like I wanted... To... Hang out with someone like a friend, like a friend. Like, I thought he was like eighteen, something like that. It wasn't. I'm not really gay or anything. Oh, he said I'm it. Just saying. Well, this he is said about it. Gay no, I'm just straight. saying. I'm straight. He's I just saying what adults do. No, I'm just. He's just saying, bro. He's just relax. Chris has to relax, man. He's just saying, bro. He's, he's not gay or anything, you know. What an excuse, man. I would have never thought that someone would pull this excuse, but you know, someone did, <laughs> and um, it couldn't have been probably someone even more. You know, perfect for the role, man. Legit, he 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 realized that it was not looking good for him, so he pulled the you know I'm not you know I'm not gay card, you know I'm not gay card, man. <laughs> Banger. But um, I did mention in the very first video that like you know I bet he probably had to use that excuse multiple times while growing up, you know, because you know he's he's 46, you know he's old, you know he probably I don't know when he started feeling like he was gay or whatever, right? But regardless, like, growing up in, in those ages, right, to be gay, like, it wasn't, like, really safe if you really think about it. And then Pulas, he's, like, I think he's Italian, right? Anthony Palomo, right? But, um, like I was saying, it, I, I bet he had to be in the closet for many years, right? And uh, now, I guess, better than ever, he just, I, had to, I guess, live those, you know, feelings, but just break the laws, oh, it's become a complete p pedo, right? Like, what? Like a friend... Like, I thought he was, like, 18, something like that. It wasn't... I'm not gay Something like that. I'm just saying. I'm just well, saying. This isn't about gay. No, I'm just straight. saying. I'm and, straight. And, I'm just Chris is an ally, man. Do, no, I'm just know? saying. <laughs> but when you involve somebody who's 14, Four, that's when it becomes an issue. How old are you? you Massive. Know? 14. Yeah. I told you that already. You say, K, meaning okay. K. Hey. But why do that? What's the motive here? It's, Explain to me. I don't no, understand. you're right. No, you're right. It's stupid. It's not. It's an illegal thing. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. He's moving his head up and down so... So quickly, man. Oh, um, man. That would give me a headache. <laughs> I'm getting a headache watching this guy. I'm not going to go lie. But, um... God damn it, man. I, I'm starting to get a little headache. But, no. Um, Chris Hansen goes on to ask if he could, like, explain this to me. Like, I feel like it should just be obvious, right? Like, it's just fantasies, right? Like, how they always say, oh, it was just a fantasy. I never thought I would actually do it, right? You know, he was only just thinking about doing it. It's just... I mean, you could put that label on pretty much any kink, right? And I'm not saying... That this is a form of kink, but it's almost like how can you really explain being into feet? Like that's I'm I'm not into that or anything, right? But like how can you really explain that? Like oh, it's just you know like, I'm attracted to it, right? Like you just really can't explain it. You're just like you know you get a feeling, and I like to think that that's kind of how it is for them, right? They just feel to be attracted to my like it's very crazy, and um, honestly, it should be very hard for that to be the case. You know, it's not as easy as I guess being attracted to feet or maybe you're into tall people or something. Which a lot of people are. I mean, that's just a basic trait of anyway. You know what I mean? Like the kinks, like BDSM and all that stuff, right? But um, his situation, right? It's wrong. It's almost like someone who thinks about killing someone. 
like you know you shouldn't do that right like it's yeah you might think about it right but that's wrong you know and in his situation what i'm trying to say is like chris chris probably knows what they're really here to do right they they have they're attracted to younger people that's it that's literally it there is no there's no explanation to it it's just the wrong that just it's just you know discrepancy in the mind you know what's the motive here it's, it's, it's the, no you're right. right no you're right it's stupid it's, it's not it's an no. illegal thing yeah i know i did a stupid thing do you ever uh watch much television oh my god sometimes once in a while not so much of a tv person well i'm chris hansen and i work for daylight NBC, NBC, and we're doing a story on adults oh. who try to meet kids online oh, i like wouldn't want to be um oh boy oh boy <laughs> walk right out of the door you can't okay in. They didn't give him his beer back. He they didn't give him his beer back. Oh, poor guy, man. Poor guy, man. He he got robbed and he got put on TV, man. I can't believe this, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, anyway, it, it's true, though. Like, they really didn't give him his beer back, right? But a lot, a lot of the times, like, they don't really do that. Except for, what is it? Uh, Michael Lebrano? You know, that one that brought that weed, right? The ice truck killer, right? They told him to take his, his weed outside because that's where police are at, right? But other than that, did they have... No, I mean, no. A lot of them did leave. But I guess since the decoy took it with them, right? They they didn't... They weren't like, oh. No, Chris wasn't like, oh, you know, can you give this guy back his, you know, Bud Light or something? But um, anyway. <laughs> leaves the house and is startled by the police. Get down. Get down. Get back. Let's go. Let's go. Right. This right. guy <laughs> who... Became quite famous in the TCAP community. Is named Anthony Palumbo. Man, I love Chris's voice. We're gonna listen to this though. We are one hundred percent gonna listen to this. It's perfect. He's Chris has said the TCAP community. Like, bro, just talk normally, Chris. Please. Like, I was actually having a conversation with my brother recently that like all the news people and all like the podcast people, right? They like to talk real slow. And it's kind of like a salesman pitch, right? Because because the new the, the Apple uh live stream, the one I showed off that big ass headset that costs like you know your kitty and your soul, like they were showing that off, and you know all the guys are usually talking real slow, like, and now showing what's next for Apple. You know they they always pull out that voice, and it is pretty annoying, but whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Anthony Palmer was arrested during the Ocean County, New Jersey sting on March thirty first, two thousand and seven. Palumbo was tra- I'll, I'll, I'll let Chris talk actually. The reason he became iconic. Iconic. Now the reason he became iconic is because of his speech pattern, his sayings, the way he talked when he walked into the room. Online, cruising gay chat rooms, he identified himself by the screen name Hey Buddy Was Up. <laughs> Seriously? Hey Buddy Was Up. Anyway, uh, let's read the rest of this text, right? It's uh, like two things are happening, right? We're listening to Chris Chris Hansen, right? And we're also reading off what happened to him, right? Palomo was charged with criminal attempt and attempt to lure or entice a minor. Palomo was released after posting posting a $50,000 bail bond, right? Pending trial on July 2nd, 2008, Palomo pleaded guilty to one charge of criminal attempt third degree. Uh, then we'll read off the And Palomo says, I want to be top. Uh, okay, says the decoy. Well, I don't have no rubbers. You bring them? Yes. Then Palumbo says, you do it raw? Raw? Yes. What's that? No rubber. <laughs> now, this no rubber, no rubber line has become infamous in the TCAP community as well. Man, I need to learn how to say TCAP community, right? I got to learn how to say it like he does. But, um, okay, on December 5th, uh, 2008, Palumbo was sentenced to parole supervision for life and sex offender registration. In February 2019, Palumbo was involved in a hit and run. Because of this, he served 45 days in Rikers Island Jail. So let's continue listening to Chris Hansen talk about talk some nonsense, honestly. Oh, here's a guy, by all <laughs> accounts, is trans. <laughs> oh my god, this guy. Right, man, perfect, man. I need to work on my guys, right? Okay, let, let me let me pull out the best one I had. Guys, no, that that didn't work. That didn't work. Let's just continue. Community as well. Here's a guy, by all accounts, Rats, man. his transcript, Rats. who at 46 has no problem having sex with a 14 year old boy, Ray. But he's worried that the boy might drink one of the beers 
What? Because of his age, before he gets them to the refrigerator. He says, don't drink those, don't get drunk. And so I walk out. I'm wearing a bulletproof vest underneath my shirt. If you look closely at the video, you can probably tell. What? And Palumbo on this. No way, no fucking way, no possible way. You're telling me that Chris Hansen had a bulletproof vest on his damn chest, man. Oh, but that is fantastic. That is amazing. That's actually amazing. That is... Oh, I keep... I, I can't stop saying it. That's amazing. You actually... Okay, let's actually see if we can see it, kind of. Boy who's home alone. Does that make you nervous? Well, Can yeah. you kind of yeah, see yeah. it? I, I just wanted to just say hi. It was not a and, and drop off a packet. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if yeah, you can see had, it, but... Find out top or bottom. Top or bottom. What adults do. But why? Legal... You don't have a better side of him. Maybe when he's first coming out, right? I won't. I won't. <laughs> I won't. So why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlanta? I don't know, but yo, know, that is fantastic. And Palumbo on the surface really refrigerator. Having sex with a 14-year-old boy. My God. Right? But he's worried that the boy might drink one of the beers. Hey because of his age before he gets them to the refrigerator he says don't drink those don't get don't drink drunk don't, don't, don't. and so i walk out i'm wearing a bulletproof vest underneath my shirt if you look closely at the video you can probably tell and palumbo on the surface really didn't pose any threat physical threat at least that i could tell but you know we're not too sure now he had already said that he was going to <laughs> i really can't believe that chris hansen wore a bulletproof proof vest man that's fantastic. That is actually fantastic. <laughs> I am... I mean, honestly, I don't blame him. You know, sometimes these people can... Man, I don't trust any of these guys, right? But it's just amazing to think that Chris was ready to get shot, basically, in other words. But um, let, let's say that did go down, right? Let's, let's make this a theoretical, right? A theoretical scene, right? Let's say here comes Richard Burnham, right? Um, made a deep dive on him if you want to check him out, right? If you don't know who that is. He comes in, right? He, put, he has his KY Jelly in one hand. Then he has a, you know, Glock 45 in the other, right? Then he starts taking blasts at, at you know, Chris has it, blah, 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 right? He blah, 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 you know? He's blasting away at his head, you know? Well, not his head because, you know, he don't have, he doesn't have a bulletproof vest there, right? He has a bulletproof vest in his chest, you know? So he starts blasting away and he Chris has it, Chris has it, goes, ah, right? And then he gets shot, right? He gets shot, but the, the bulletproof vest stops it, man, okay? It stops it, right? He catches three to the chest, right? But then what happens? What happens? You know, Chris just got shot. What is, what? Is Ron Knight going to jump in? Oh, man, don't tell, don't tell me. Chris, look, Ron Knight is the worst bodyguard at, bodyguard I've ever, ever heard of, right? You, that one time that Ron Knight strong-armed, what was his name? Um, That r rabbi, I don't know, they, they actually blocked my video. They took it down. They copyright claimed it. So that's why it's not up there anymore. I'm, I'm probably not going to review him ever again because I don't think that his, his footage can be used, right? I think people... Are, or maybe even him, right? He he does that. But anyway, um, yeah, Ron Light jumps out. What does he have? That like you know revolver that he's showing off at HVP, right? Is that like his trusty revolver, right? But yeah, it all goes down. Do, do the police right? They now there's a hostage situation. Like it's a lot of a lot of scene happening for that to be the case. Like Ron, <laughs> Chris Hansen, you extra as hell. <laughs> You're so extra. Did the did the Decoy wear a bulletproof vest? I don't think so, man. <laughs> Atlantic City, and that was Atlantic his cover City. for leaving his parents' house in Staten Island. That's and awesome. one of the other things that became iconic from this particular episode was the way he said Atlantic City. He said Atlantic City. Atlantic I'm going City. to Atlantic City. Atlantic City. He <laughs> said he wasn't really going to do anything. He said he was stupid. That's how he said it. Stupid. <laughs> and that became iconic, too, in I T-Camp call. lore. Palumbo was ultimately convicted of one charge of criminal attempt to have sex with a minor. He was sentenced to a lifetime of parole supervision and registration as a sex offender. In spite of his iconic TCAP status, not much is known about Anthony Palumbo's activities or whereabouts before or after he was arrested. We do know that he was involved in a rather bizarre incident two years before he surfaced in our investigation involving his mother and father on Staten Island. 
DeFi. Ah, yes, I know this story, right? It's it's on the To Catch a Parada wiki, right? I don't know if Chris Essa was the first one to get a hold of it, right? I assume so. But I will try. I will explain the story, then we'll listen to Chris Essa and tell it, right? But basically, what happened was is that I believe uh, either his mom or I believe it was Palumbo actually when he was younger. He spent like like a, he lost a lot of money that his father won. Or something along the lines of that, right? Basically, Palumbo lost money, a lot of money, and the dad went fucking crazy. He broke his, uh, you know, Palumbo's mama, mama's nose, right? He broke her nose and poured hot boiling soup onto Anthony Palumbo's head. So he was pretty mad, right? Pretty mad. And let's see if my story is correct, right? I, I believe that's the case, but let's just hear it. <laughs> father. His father. On Staten Island. Staten Island. The father. Father. Frank Palumbo, brandishing a pitchfork, he was 85 at the time, threatened to kill his wife in some sort of dispute over a million dollars in stocks. So Frank Palumbo, the father of Anthony, was actually arraigned and charged with assault and weapons possession on this attack on his 75-year-old wife inside their home. And apparently, Ten years old. Frank Palumbo first used a wooden tray to break his wife's nose, then yeah. missed her with a pitchfork shouting, I will kill you, a police source said. During all of this, Jesus apparently Christ. Anthony <laughs> also went- Bro, Chris, this is a menace. Bro laughed at Anthony Palumbo getting burned with boiling soup and that's fantastic he said this is hilarious <laughs> he just really knows this out. then menaced her with a pitchfork shouting i will kill you I will kill said. You, during all of this apparently anthony <laughs> also went to the hospital because his father <laughs> had poured boiling soup on his head during this entire dispute <laughs> palumbo did have another brush with the law in february of 2019 he apparently got involved in some sort of hit and run accident out on staten island and was yeah. arrested and he actually spent 45 days 45 behind bars days. in rikers island in new york he was released and it's one of those cases where he's left no real trail since then huh so he really disappeared Andy Palumbo really had nothing come out, you know, for him after a TCAP, right? After that hit and run, like, th there's nothing, right? It has been, what, how many years? Like, four years since that hit and run, right? So, well, I mean, a little bit over that. It's almost five years, but, um, actually, no, it's not. It's, it's four years. But anyway, <laughs> that's the last people I've heard of Andy Palumbo, but uh, anyway... I guess that's that for him, you know. We had a blast watching him again, right? Um, I stopped sweating, you know. A banger, banger line, right? But um, anyway, yeah, it's it's great. It's great to hear Chris Hudson talk. I know he does have that podcast, right? And I've been told by a friend that I should check it out, right? Uh, but I don't know. Maybe we should. Should you like to see... Would you like to see me watch a podcast of Chris Hansen? Like, he talks that slow for the entirety of it. But I don't know if I even can, right? You know, fuck around and find out that I can watch that stuff on here. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, that'll be it for today's video, right? Um, <laughs> we'll close it out, right? Opossum Gaming, right? There you go. Whoever's told me to say that on Instagram, you're welcome. I almost forgot. But anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll call it. We'll call it. <laughs> we'll see you some other time. Uh, drop some recommendations if you want me to see, right? I know there are, there is one person that wanted me, Rocket. Um, I don't remember any more... I know I they I remember I there was someone who wanted me to watch somebody and I did message them back in the comments that I was gonna do a deep dive which is you know there's a deep dive coming right but um anyway we'll leave you at that me and rocket might be next if not then we'll see who's next right but anyway uh, yeah we'll see, we'll catch you some other time and uh, have a good day <laughs> bye.